Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this celebration of the feast of our brother, Blessed Solanus. Um, I'm, I go by Brother Steve. I'm also a priest, so you can call me either way. I'm Brother Steve. I am, have just arrived here on Monday. Uh, to begin again uh, ministry at the Solanus Casey Center after about a 13-year hiatus. Um, pleased to be with you as we celebrate this blessed feast this night. As we come together to celebrate our brother Solanus, let us remember um, the graciousness and love and mercy of our God, the God whom Solanus uh, trusted in and believed in and followed with all his heart and all his strength, knowing that he would bring us to eternal life. Let us pray that God may have mercy on us and lead us to eternal life. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us remember our baptism and sing a hymn of glory to God.
Let us pray. O God, who in your providence conformed blessed Solanus Casey to the image of your Son, making him tireless in service to the poor, by his intercession and example, grant also to us the same generosity and joy in giving of ourselves in service to our neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. My son, conduct your affairs with humility, and you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. Humble yourself the more, the greater you are, and you will find mercy in the sight of God. For great is the power of the Lord. By the humble he is glorified. What is too sublime for you, do not seek. Do not reach into things that are hidden from you. What is committed to you, pay heed to. What is hidden is not your concern. In matters that are beyond you, do not meddle. When you have been shown more than you can understand. Indeed, many are the conceits of human beings. Evil imaginations lead them astray. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious. If there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord be in our minds and our hearts. Jesus was praying in a certain place when he had finished. One of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us and do not subject us to the final test. And he said to them, suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, friend, lend me three loaves of bread for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey and I have nothing to offer him. And he says from within, do not bother me. The door has already been locked and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up and give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up and give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, Ask and you will receive. 
Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who knocks finds, and the, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. The Gospel of the Lord. I have to get my seeking and knocking straight. <laughs> As we heard from Sirach, for great is the power of the Lord. By the humble, he is glorified. Solanus Casey was painfully aware of his own limitations. Successful student? No. Great preacher? No. Insightful administrator? No. Poplar confessor? No. Someone who loved people and was totally dedicated to God? Yes. For indeed, he was alive with the love of God, and that love overflowed to all of the people whom he dealt with. He was not about his own agenda. And when the Capuchin leadership approached him when he was still a seminarian, they asked him to make a statement that he would remain a friar in the event that he would not be approved for ordination to the priesthood. He said, yes, I will accept that as the will of God. And that attitude continued throughout his entire life. And when the provincial asked him to go somewhere, he just packed his bags and went. And when he got there, the local minister would give him tasks to do. And whatever that was, he would do the job with total Dedication. Never full of himself, he possessed a self effacing attitude that allowed God to do great things in him and through him. And like, unlike some others that could be tempted to get a fat head, he totally realized that the great things that happened were by God's power and only by God's power. Now, most of us are kind of like a cup of coffee and God is a little bit of cream that you put in there and kind of flavors it a little bit and gives it a little different color. 
Solanus was a latte. <laughs> the cream was colored and flavored by a little bit of Solanus. And because of that, his very ordinary tasks that he did transformed into a different level. And to the wonderment of Brother Leo and the other brothers, when people lined up and filled the entire office and Solanus took his time, folks that had been there for two hours never complained because they realized that when it was their turn, it would be like they were the only person in the whole world. He would have total care for them. And they knew that they would be listened to on a deep level. And they knew that the advice that they would get was not just the advice of a smart man, an insightful man, but they would be God-inspired words. And indeed, would show forth spiritual knowledge that was purely a gift of the Holy Spirit. And as he prayed with them, He'd often say in his wispy, wife, wispy voice, don't worry. It's what we heard from Philippians. Have no anxiety. For Solanus would make known how God would take care of them and do so with thankful and prayerful petitions. And he did this consistently day after day. And Lord knows he He had a lot of strains on him, and he suffered greatly in many ways. But despite that, his life was overflowing with gratitude. He always looked beyond his personal pain and saw the glory of God at work. And he followed the instruction that Jesus gives today to pray persistently. And on the other side of the wall, he would be often there until late, late, late at night, praying for the people that had come in that day. And as he told them to pray also with confidence and faith, he usually would ask them to do some kind of an action. And whether that was say a rosary or make a financial contribution to the missions or some other act of charity, 
that they would thank God ahead of time by reacting with grateful praise even before God had answered the prayer. I ask you, go inside yourself for a moment and ask that God's Spirit enter you now. Spirit of God, let Solanus teach us and guide us through his example. May he help us to do what he did, none of which is beyond us, to welcome those who come into our life. to listen attentively to those who come to us, to pray with and for the people who make their needs known to us. And then decide how we can serve them. And I would suggest to you today, Solanus was not great. He was a transparent container that held God's greatness. May we open ourselves to contain God's greatness. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us stand and bring to the Lord our prayers and petitions. For, ch for church leaders, that the Lord might pure and purify and sanctify them as they lead their flock, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our legislators, that God might grant them wisdom and fortitude as they work for the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have suffered the effects of violence, may God provide them with comfort and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us who gather here, may Christ continue to conform us evermore to his heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died righteous in Christ, that they might experience the joy of eternal rest as their reward. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For the poor of Detroit, for whom blessed Solanus's heart went out, that they have better education and lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially for those many that come here, that they might receive healing, and for their caregivers, that they might find contentment in their service. 
and for all the medical personnel that they do their best to serve the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have come to the tomb or participated in services here or virtually, and then these novena days, that our prayers be answered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the Solanus Guild members who have been working, contributing, and praying for the canonization of Blessed Solanus, that they might find happiness, consolation, and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Amen. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of blessed Solanus, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth 
the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without hand we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by this same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we
therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and especially today with our blessed Psalmist Casey, who we remember. We pray that all God's holy ones constantly intercede for us in your presence. We rely on their unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were passing to you at their, who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So we pray as Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
the novena to Blessed Solanus Casey. <clears throat> Loving Creator God, you are holy, the source of all holiness. We give you thanks for all the ways your holiness shines forth in the humble life of our Capuchin brother, Blessed Solanus Casey. Help us to not simply admire him, but to learn from him so we too may become like him, open to all the graces God is giving to us. In his own spirit, echoing his own words and experience. We praise you, O God, for creating us, bringing us into our families in this beautiful but very fragile planet Earth. Blessed be God in all his designs. We praise you, O God, for sending us your own Son, Jesus, to give himself completely to us as our Savior and our brother. Jesus Christ, the lover of our souls. We praise you, O God, for gifting us with faith, for living in us and making us part of the church, the body of Christ on earth. How little we appreciate our incalculable privileges the blessings of our holy faith. We praise you, O God, for sending your spirit to guide us every step of the way on our journey of life. God is so good. Oh, thank God in the meantime. We praise you, O God, for giving us your own mother to be our mother and protector. We praise you, O God, for giving us experiences throughout our lives to let us know your presence and your call. How can we thank God enough for his merciful guidance? We praise you, O God, for constantly forgiving us when we pay no attention to your guidance and choose sinful paths instead. God's merciful love is above all this world. We praise you, O God, for the gift of vocation, single life, marriage, religious life, and priesthood. How sublime are our vocations. We praise you, O God, for the gift of the Eucharist, drawing us again and again into your own sacrificial loving. You give us your body and blood and gushing we praise you, O God, for the gift of our neighbors, especially those who, like Solanus's parents, are immigrants or refugees, all who are poor and sick and struggling to make ends meet. What a privilege it is to help one another. We praise you, O God, for the gift of sharing your cross with us through setbacks and hardships. Be faithful to God in the present moment. We praise you, O oh God, for the loving plan you have for each of us in our living and our dying. I give my soul to Jesus Christ. We praise you, O oh God, for your desire to have each of us with you and blessed Solanus forever in heaven. We thank God ahead of time. Dear Lord, you are so good, so loving to us all. Our Capuchin brother, blessed Solanus was filled with gratitude and appreciation for all your gifts and invites us to do the same. Help us to take his field of example so that we and our weary world will know the blessings of greater peace, greater hope, and greater joy. This we ask in Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer for the canonization of Blessed Solanus Casey. O God, I adore you, and I give myself to you. May I be the person you want me to be, and may your will be done in my life today. I thank you for the gifts you have given to us once. If it is your will, bless us the canonization of Father Solanus, so that others may take care for all the poor and suffering of our world. 
as he joyfully accepted your divine plans, I ask you, according to your will, to hear my prayer for Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Blessed be God in all his designs. Uh, just a few words. I won't keep you here more than 20 or 30 minutes longer, I promise. Well, thank you to all who uh, ventured out this evening and throughout this day. Uh, we had a full house at uh, noontime and a crowd again about this size this morning, so it was a wonderful way to celebrate after not being able to celebrate in person this feast last year. So thank you to all who came out. This has been a novena. It's been nine days of, of celebration, uh, which means it's been more than nine days of work for a lot of people. So to thank some people in particular, I, I on behalf of uh, the center and the guild and our brothers and our province, I, I want to thank our Capuchin brothers um, who have participated, particularly the brothers here at St. Bonaventure Community. Um, you know, this is a week for us in our fraternity here of uh, hosting and cooking and cleaning and welcoming and celebrating. So thank you, brothers, who have celebrated these days. Um, our musicians have been putting in triple, quadruple time uh, with uh, rehearsals during the day when nobody else was uh, using the chapel when they could. So thank you to our musicians who have put in nine days of work. This has been musicians every day for nine days for two or three times a day. So we are most grateful um, and our staff here at the Solanus Center and for the province who have been helping to organize all this. I know I see some faces hiding here and there, uh, live streaming and organizing and setting up. And I, we're just, I'm sure we are all grateful for all that has been put into this. And everyone who has gathered uh, in person uh, via our live streaming and our videos to celebrate this feast of our brother Solanus. I'd like to point out that because it's been a while, we're especially grateful this year to have, uh, again, members of Father Solanus's family um, who are with us after a little hiatus of time. So thank you to all of you. You can wave your hands. That's certainly a privilege to have uh, members of his family here. So blessings to you all, and uh, as we conclude our prayer tonight, we pray, uh, Blessed Solanus Casey, pray for us. Let us pray. Make us who have been nourished by this sacred meal, almighty God, always follow the example of Blessed Solanus in serving you with constant devotion and assisting all with untiring charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I also have to do an announcement. Uh, just for the sake of uh, the security of the uh, center and all of you as well, we're going to ask you when you exit tonight to please use the doorway over here that exits to Mount Elliott Street, and then you can go up to the uh, um, wherever you're parked, especially if you're parked in our parking lot, and that way our uh, lighting and our guards will be available to ensure your uh, safe uh, journey to your cars so you can get home safely to thank God for all of his wonderful gifts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God.